So what colors did you use? Allison? Yellow, red, blue, and green. Good, sit up. So we're going to say that the green pattern block has an area of one unit. We're going to say this has an area of one unit. See how they said right below? Area equals one. So we can cover the blue pattern block using green pattern blocks, right? Right. So if we do it, how many green pattern blocks can cover a blue pattern block, Jack? Two. Two. So then we say a blue pattern block has an area of how many units? Two. 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 Right, two. Under the blue then. Okay. And what about our green? Our, oh, we already wrote, we already have the green. Okay, so now how many green pattern blocks would cover a red pattern block? If you flipped it the right I way. Know. Jack? Four. Three. Three. Allison, do you agree with that? Yes. Okay, so write three under your red pattern block. Okay, next. How many green pattern blocks would cover our yellow I don't pattern know. block? One. Like five. Two, Eight. Two. Three. Eight. Four. Five. Six. Six green pattern blocks will cover one yellow pattern block. So a yellow pattern block has an area of six units, a red pattern block has an area of three units, a blue pattern block has an area of two units, and the green pattern block has an area of one unit, okay? Now we'll use the pattern blocks to find the area of each design at the bottom of the paper. Which design do you think has the largest area? Jack? This one. Okay. Wait, wait. Which yeah. design do you think has the smallest area, Allison? B. So let's say a letter name when we're talking about our designs. B. B. Oh, I, I know A and C. Okay. I think C is the We will see. So we're going to use pattern blocks to find the areas here. So cover design A using pattern blocks. So you may use yellow, red, blue, and green. Your design can look different than other people's. Sonia Moo. Let's do that. I'm not right now, just wait. Okay. Getting all the blues in there. Okay, hurry up. That's my one. Yeah. All right, very good. Who would like to tell us what pattern blocks they used to cover design Allison. A? Allison. Okay. I used. Allison's. So you say one yellow. One yellow, two blues, and two reds. Jack? Two reds, four greens, and three blues. Three blues. So now we're going to find the value of the pattern blocks we use to cover design A, okay? So we can find the area of the design by adding the value of the individual pattern blocks. All right, so let's look at our value. Um, what we do first is, if you have a yellow, how many units six. is that? Six. So we say six, and then what's the next biggest? Two. We have Nine. red. Three. You have two reds, and how many are each red? Six. Wait. No, what is three. each red? Three. Each red is three. So six plus three Nine. plus three is? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve, right? Mm -hmm. Twelve. What's a blue? Two. 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 So twelve plus two is? Fourteen. Plus two more? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. So now, Jack, how, how would you add yours, Jack? Three, six. Um, Wait, no. How many sixes do you have? You have no three. sixes. Two threes, which makes six. six. How many blues do you have? Six, so let's count by twos. Eight, ten, twelve, 
Three, add the greens. 13, 13, 13 14, 14, 15, 15 16. 16. You both have the same. That must be right. Let's get rid of the pattern blocks off your design A and write 16. Design A had a, an area of 16 units. Oh, you can keep them near your thing because you're going to use them again. So let's cover design B and see how many units it takes. And we're going to find the area of design B next. Go ahead and use whichever pattern blocks you want. They just have to fit inside the design. Using all blue and green for the Seahawks. So many. No, don't do that. So many. This isn't good. You just wreck that. No. Mom, she put some tape on me. Excuse me.